I've always had very easy skin to take care of. My skin wow. is not very temperamental. I tend to use products that's for normal to oily because okay. I have an oily T-zone, but otherwise I only get blemishes once in a while. Hmm. I hate you. <laughs> How does it feel to be one of God's favorites? Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. So earlier today I was doing some research for a video I'm filming for you guys about LED masks when all of a sudden the article I'm reading had a picture of Rachel Ziegler doing her skincare routine and I was like, what? Excuse moi, pardon. I had no idea Rachel Ziegler had done a skincare routine on YouTube. But then again, I will say it's not totally a surprise because my knowledge of celebrities is absolute shit. But also because I am a recent Rachel Ziegler fan, I had never seen her in anything, didn't really know much about her until I watched the new Hunger videos and bitch, she fucking carried that movie. Rent was due, bills were ready to be paid and she did not disappoint. Like I walked away from that movie being like, wow, I'm a Rachel Ziegler fan. The theater kid in me just absolutely loves her. But if there's one thing that we can all agree on is that she is just absolutely stunning and has gorgeous skin. So I wanna know what she's been using on her face and see if I like it. So I'm gonna do a reaction video. It's been a long time since I've actually reacted to a celebrity skincare routine. Damn. Well, it's overdue. As usual, I wanna say that I am not a dermatologist nor do I claim to be. If you are having any concerns with your skin, please go see your esthetician or dermatologist to get that shit treated. I make these videos to share my opinions about skincare and hopefully educate you as well. All the products I mentioned will be listed in the description box below if you do want to check them out and support the channel. And let's jump into it. Okay, I don't even know what channel it's on. I literally just saw a picture and immediately started filming this video. Oh, it's for Vogue. Okay, Hunger Games Rachel Ziegler on preventing breakouts and her go-to glam. Wait, is it Ziegler or Zegler? People always say Ziegler. Rachel, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Hi Vogue, my name is Rachel Zegler and today I'm gonna walk you through my skincare routine and my go-to makeup look. I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm not used to hearing her without that like Appalachian twang. I literally have only seen her in that movie. Out my friends. And I've out both. The first step is usually to use some makeup removing cleanser wipes. No! <laughs> no! Oh, man, this is starting out rough. In her defense, they're CeraVe. <laughs> so at least they're not overly fragranced. Um, if you've watched any of my reaction videos, you know my opinion on makeup wipes. I just don't think they're good for the skin. They're not good for the planet. Cleansing balm, cleansing oil, or micellar water is where it's at. If you are a makeup wipe user, trust me, once you try one of those three, you will never go back. It is so much better. Well, it can only go up from here. <laughs> Actually, I should not say that. I don't want to jinx it. Rachel, I believe in you. Come on, girl. Lately, I've been wearing a lot of makeup because I'm doing lots yeah. of press for my upcoming I mean, makes sense. West Side Story. So next up is my cleanser, which I've been okay. using since sophomore year. Okay, CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I recommend that one all the time. Really good if you have oily skin or you want a little bit of a deeper clean, which I'm glad she's doing with the makeup wipes because those definitely won't remove all the makeup. I also wanna say, this was posted over two years ago. Where the fuck have I been? I had no idea this was a thing. Then again, I didn't really know she was a thing, but if I know anything about the Vogue comment section, people were probably dragging her for using makeup wipes. So I'm gonna guess that she probably doesn't use them anymore because whew, you guys can come for blood. I have always had very easy skin to take care of. My skin wow. is not very temperamental. I tend to use products that's for normal to oily because okay. I have an oily T-zone, but otherwise I only get blemishes once in a while. Hmm. I hate you. <laughs> How does it feel to be one of God's favorites? Rachel, you can go over there. You can't sit with us. No, you guys, I'm joking. I'm just bitter because I'm jealous. But then I scar really easily. So I try oh, to avoid yeah. those blemishes yeah, rough. as much as I can. Time to wash this off. So next yeah, she was gentle toner, with her face. I use this. And I just put it Oh, bliss. A okay, I love that she's coming through with the drugstore skincare. Like, that's amazing. Honestly, when I think back to all of the reaction videos I've done, it's very rare to see celebrities like have more than one drugstore product in their routine, if even one. And so I love how affordable the skincare routine is. So that is the Bliss Disappearing Act Toner. It has niacinamide, it's good for people who have more oily skin, wanna balance the oil production on their face. I don't remember the ingredients, but 
Oh, looking at them, they're actually... Oh, this is actually a really good ingredient list. Why have I not used this one before? It has niacinamide, green tea, mushroom extract, cucumber, rice bran, oat, and it's fragrance-free. I need to use this product. Well, it is a toner. I don't really use toners, but I wouldn't be opposed to using this product. And I definitely think it's a great ingredient list. Do I still stand by not really believing toners are necessary in a routine? Yes, but if you're gonna use one, this is a pretty good one to use. When you make movies, people come up and retouch your hair and makeup all day. Mm -hmm. So what starts out as very light skin makeup turns into mm. 13 layers of concealer by the end of the day. That is and so that true. that really takes a toll on your skin. So you wanna do as much as you can to soothe it and avoid any breakouts, avoid any spots or bumps. Cause I have very Love textured education. skin when I get bumps. So, you know, you try to avoid that because bumps are harder to hide on camera. I don't think if a celebrity has mentioned that in a video before, but even from my very limited experience of being on video shoots and photo shoots where a makeup artist is present, they are constantly coming up, adding powder, concealer, lip product to your face. And I'm someone who has oily skin, so they constantly have to retouch my skin. And literally by the end of it, when I look in the mirror, I see a reflection of Krusty Gonzalez. And again, that's not even to mention if you do start out with heavy makeup, it just, it piles on. So it is difficult to have clear skin in that type of environment. Next up is this mask that I have actually been using since oh. high school. Today, because my whole face isn't acting up, I'm just gonna put it on my forehead and my chin, which tend to be some problem areas for me at the moment. Okay, um, I don't think I know this mask, right. but automatically it looks Imaginary like a clay mask. Let me look at what product it is. Oh, so it's the Clinique Acne Oil Control Cleansing Mask. I have never tried this product. Then again, there's a lot of Clinique products that I haven't really tried. I'm not like crazy about them. I guess that could be negative. I mean, they're fine. I just don't use them often. But let me look at these ingredients. Oh, okay, so it has kaolin and magnesium aluminum, which are two common clays that are used to like absorb excess oil on the face, balance your skin out. There's some soothing plant extracts, algae, aloe. Oh, and it's fragrance free. I am so impressed with her skincare routine. So far it has all been fragrance free, all with good ingredients that are gentle on the skin, minus the cleansing wipes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really someone who uses clay masks because even for my oily skin, I just find that they can overly dry out your skin. But this is a pretty good one and it's $32, which is not that much for how much you get especially for Clinique because they can be a little pricier. I love it. The only thing I will say is that she's using the face mask after she already applied skincare products, which means once she rinses it off, she's either going to have the clay mask left in her skin or she's gonna be washing off the rest of the skincare products that she already applied, which is always why I recommend using a face mask before you do your skincare routine. It's just better to do it that way so you don't have any residual mask left on your skin when you're applying the of your skincare routine, but I'm loving it besides that. All right, Imaginary Watch says it's been 15 minutes and now I'm going to wash this off. So next up is this LED mask. Oh, bougie. Okay, this is what I saw. I didn't look too closely at what kind of mask that is, but that is the Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask and it is bouge. That is fancy, y'all. How much is it? I mean, I already know because it's Dr. Dennis Gross that it's gonna be expensive. Oh! Oh my goodness, Rachel. It is $455. Pricey. I have never spent that much on a skincare device, nor do I plan to. But you know what? LED therapy is great for the skin. If you want to splurge, this is definitely like a good product to splurge on. It's a great way of getting that LED therapy all over your face. But just letting you know, there's a lot of cheaper options out there. You do not have to pay this price point for LED therapy. So this mix is for breakouts and mm -hmm. collagen. I've noticed a difference ever since I started using okay, it. Okay, that's good. And uh, maybe you will too. <laughs> Next up is lips. This is really oh, important stuff for okay. me because my lips get chapped very easily. And so I use this super balm that you can actually use on your skin, but my skin's not thick enough for this thick material. So basically you have to warm it up between yep. your fingers before putting on your that lips. That stuff is thick. And then you just keep it on for the rest of your routine. I am a lip balm fiend. I have a lip balm in every pocket, every purse, every coat. Same. I refuse to have chapped lips in public. <laughs> Same girly. I mean, my bag is right here and I think I have four different lip balms in it. Granted, I have a problem and I'm addicted to skincare, but I feel you, my lips always get dry. So yeah, that's a super balm from Lana Lips. It's really popular. It's been around for a long time. I personally have tried it and 
I didn't love it. It just didn't keep my lips moisturized as long as other products that I've used. It's definitely not bad. Also, you guys stay tuned for a video where I break down every single lip balm I've ever used and recommend the best ones. It's cause this one's in there. The only thing to be aware of is that the main ingredient in this lip product is lanolin. And I think lanolin is fine, but you want to make sure if you haven't used a product with lanolin that you patch test before because people who have lanolin sensitivity, it can be a really bad reaction like hospitalization reaction. So just be aware, patch test, but it's a great ingredient and you know, that product's fine. I was, you know, working as a wedding singer through uh, all oh, of high school. I started cool. a YouTube channel where I covered a bunch of songs from my bathroom and my yes. childhood bedroom. And it started gaining a lot of attention, but I didn't really burst onto the scene until I received the role of Maria in Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. It was a year long audition crazy. process. There were 30,000 other people in the mix oh and it was crazy stressful. And I somehow made it <laughs> to the other end wow. of that. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how fucking crazy her rise to fame has been. Like she literally went from being a wedding singer to being the star of a Steven Spielberg film and then getting Snow White and then getting Hunger Games. Like her work ethic is insane, but I personally think it's well-deserved because even in the Hunger Games, I figured out that all the music except for one song that she sang was live recorded, which blew me away and made me have so much respect for her because her voice is incredible. I recently discovered her YouTube videos as well. And that's when I was like, oh, her voice, it's not auto-tune, it's legit. One of the most important things on my mental health journey as well mm, as my yes. skincare journey has been making sure that I feel as comfortable as possible so that I can do my job to the best of my ability. Oh, Next up that. is my serum. Which oh, I bliss again. The vitamin C serum. Okay, wow, drugstore skincare. You guys know I'm a big fan of Bliss. I mean, I'm literally wearing their sunscreen right now. Love, I can't remember if I used this product. I think I did. Oh, I remember my issue with it. It's a shame because it has so many good ingredients, vitamin C, licorice root extract, squalane, a ton of others, but it does have fragrance. And I think that's why I was like, mm, I'm not gonna use it. And while I don't love that for her face, I will say every other product that she's used so far has been fragrance free. And it's all about reducing the risk of a reaction to fragrance, right? So. So the more you can reduce it in your routine, the better it is. Then I like to go in with moisturizer. Don't like to okay, use too much, again. especially in the morning. I definitely use a little bit more at night. Mm -hmm. Good. I really like how gentle she is with her face. Well, Next relatively. <laughs> Mostly gentle. She's not like Billie Eilish. Oh, I'm still scarred from that routine. Okay, I know I have read the ingredients of this product, but I don't remember what's in it. So let me look. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I definitely don't remember this product, but right away, you guys, in big letters on the packaging is pure retinol, which you know what? Glad she's using retinol. I mean, that's amazing. I think retinol should be in every single skincare routine. But here's the thing, as a nighttime moisturizer, amazing, beautiful, wonderful. I love it. Daytime? No, seriously, it's just because you shouldn't be using a product with retinol during the day because retinol increases your skin sensitivity to the sun. It's a lot more difficult for your skin to stay protected from that sun damage if you're using it during the day, which is why using retinol during the day is just a big no-no. I'm really, really, really hoping that she uses a sunscreen because if she doesn't, oh my Lord, I just might have a panic attack. I'm manifesting it. She's gonna use a sunscreen. I know, Rachel, you got this. Next up is face oil and I like to use this huh? and just put it all over my skin. Okay, here we come with the bougie product. That, a lot of that is definitely fancy. About my wellness journey is that a huge chunk of it has to do with my voice as well as how I'm mm, feeling mm -hmm. uh, physically. When I was making West Side Story, uh, I felt a lot of pressure to constantly be on my game uh, yeah. that mostly manifested vocally. And when you're very stressed out, it can affect your vocal cords. But I cut dairy out of my diet. I cut a lot of caffeine out because caffeine can dry up your vocal cords. Yes, but very true. So if you don't know Augustinus Bader, they are very expensive, very luxurious, but a lot of celebrities swear by the products. I personally have not tried them and I don't know if I will just because the price points are so inaccessible. Oh, I mean like the bottle she has is $265. So expensive, so yeah, I'm not gonna be buying that. You know, however, I will say for a face oil, the ingredients are really good. Typically, I don't 
like face oils because they have a lot of essential oils in them and they just can be really irritating and in my opinion don't necessarily do a lot for the skin but this has a bunch of good ingredients it's a packed ingredient list and that's how i feel about a lot of their products i like look at the formulas and i'm like wow that's a really nice formula if only the price point were nice too i love that it jumped from like a 12 dollar product to like a 265 dollar product damn rachel but you know what if i were a betting man and I'm not, but if I was, I would say they sent her their products because I know for a fact that their PR game is like really good. That's one of the reasons so many celebrities talk about them. They're just very giving with their gifts. And you know what, hey girl, if you get it for free, like don't waste the product. Next up is my eye cream. Is that SkinCeuticals? Oh my God, that is SkinCeuticals. <laughs> Wow, the price point of this routine skyrocketed really quickly. Here's the thing though, I can't be mad because these brands and products that she's using are really good. Like SkinCeuticals has incredible formulas. Let me see the price point of this one. It is not cheap. Ooh, $116, that is so expensive. I've never in my life been more tempted to buy expensive products than I have with SkinCeuticals, but they're just a little bit over the line for me to be like, mm, no, can't justify it. My other recommendation, the way that she applies her eye cream, this isn't like a huge thing, it's just a recommendation. You wanna be very careful with your under eye area and not be too too rough with it, particularly when applying eye cream. So make sure you use this finger because it's the least likely to put excess pressure on your under eye area because these fingers have the least amount of muscles out of all our fingers. Going like this will just increase the likelihood of your eyes getting puffy and irritated and just not looking great. So just a dip. So next up is my sunscreen. Huh, hallelujah. Thank the Lord above. I was getting nervous, y'all. My prayers have been answered. But you know what? If she's using SkinCeuticals and Augustina Spader, I just have to assume girly is going to use sunscreen because she seems pretty knowledgeable about skincare based off the products she's using. Like these aren't ones that you just happen to come across in the store. Like you got to do your research to know these products. But thank God she's using the glow screen from Supergoop. Now I personally don't recommend this sunscreen and I don't use it because it is a chemical sunscreen. However, that's just me. So no judgment, but I personally wouldn't use it. But the good thing is that it's an SPF 40. So she is getting like a good amount of protection. I was worried it was going to be like a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen or a sunscreen spray, something that just wasn't gonna be effective, but this one will definitely be effective, albeit not effective enough to compensate for the retinol that she just applied. So save that for the nighttime and focus on the sunscreen for the day. And I like to put it on my skin. I always wore sunscreen growing up, <gasps> even though my Yay! skin never burned, I was very aware of the damage that the sun could do because oh, I was always amazing. scared straight by all of the commercials on TV. <laughs> that's so amazing and very rare to hear, particularly, you know, from someone who doesn't have very fair skin, people with like olive skin tones or darker skin tones have always been told this lie that they don't need to wear sunscreen. <sighs> Just the evil lie. Everyone needs to wear sunscreen. Even if you don't burn from it, there are still so many damaging aspects. And no wonder her skin looks so good. She's been protecting it since she was little. That makes sense because I swear, my my skin issues are probably rooted from the 18 years of not wearing sunscreen that I did. I love it. Wow, okay, so what are my thoughts? I must say this routine has made me even more of a Rachel Zegler stan. Ziegler, Zegler, sorry. I think her routine is great. Like the only product that I had an issue with is makeup wipes. And I know some people prefer them for the convenience of like when you're on the road, when you're traveling, it's very easy to remove makeup. But besides that, the rest of her routine was solid. There was only one product that had fragrance in it. She got the most important steps, serum, moisturizer, eye cream, sunscreen. Yes, there is the retinol issue, but I'm sure if she read the Vogue comments as well, people were screaming at her not to wear retinol during the day. And who knows, maybe she was sent all of this product, but it does seem like she knows her shit about skincare. These are products with very good formulas, very well-researched ingredients. Like I'm impressed, I gotta say. You know what, coming out of celebrity reaction video retirement, this is a good one to come back to. Rachel, I think you did a great job just with a few minor changes. Your routine is perfect. Well, what do you guys think? Do you like her routine? What are your thoughts on the products? Have you guys seen the Hunger Games movie? Let me know what you thought of that. And I'm also just gonna say, no Rachel slander or negativity will be tolerated on my video. I know that she has gotten a lot of heat in the past and I just don't think that's appropriate in my comment section. So keep it to yourself. And finally, let me know if you guys have any more celebrities you want me to react to. Like I'm down to do it again. I just don't see many anymore. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Wow.